Porsche's Panamera Sport Turismo is truly leaving its mark. Its exceptional design and the perfect harmony between performance, comfort and variability make it a true one-of-a-kind in the luxury segment. The new top model now really crowns out the model line with a plug-in hybrid. With that, welcome to the presentation of the Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. For all the details, I'll hand you over to my colleagues from Weissach. During the very early phase of working on the Panamera successor, Porsche was concurrently developing another lighthouse project. I had the privilege of also signing co-responsible for the early concept phase of 918 Spider, alongside the Panamera. The 918 Spider made us realize that the hybrid is the performance kit of the future. Because on the performance side, it provides instant torque, as of the moment of tip-in on the accelerator. This ensures that you have spontaneity and agility also at lower engine speeds. This generates a torque curve that has no equal and makes the car so incredibly powerful and an outstanding performer. We really developed the new Panamera around this notion of hybridification and created an entire platform around the hybrid powertrain. With the Panamera Sport Saloon, we brought the Turbo S for the first time as plug-in hybrid to the market, so that it's only logical for us to bring the Panamera Sport Turismo as the top model also as a hybrid car. So we have performance and drive ratings on the level of a sports car, which obviously fits our claim of offering and being a true sports car in the luxury segment, while on the other hand we've managed to combine it with an efficiency of just 3 litres according to the new European driving cycle. This way we provide a maximum spread between performance and consumption. The total system power of 680 horsepower comes from 550 horsepower generated by the combustion engine and an additional 136 horsepower from the electric motor. As you can just add them up one to one, this generates a system output of 680 horsepower. Maximum torque is already available just above idle speed, simply due to the fact that we have the electric motor on board. This gives you outstanding acceleration potential. We're talking here about a sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.4 seconds. And then from 100 to 200 km per hour, we accelerate in a mere 8.3 seconds on top, which is roughly one second faster than the classic V8 twin turbo. Now that's a significant benefit. Maximum speed is at 310 km per hour, which for the Panamera model lineup marks the absolute top benchmark. All this power is transmitted to the all-wheel drive system via a 6 plus 2 twin clutch with 6 performance gears and 2 overdrive gears. All Sport Turismo vehicles come fitted with all-wheel drive. Now, by the same token, we're speaking of a fuel consumption of 3.0 litres on 100 kilometres, according to the new European driving cycle, plus an electric range of 49 kilometres and an electric power uptake of 17.6 kilowatt hours on 100 kilometres. Depending on the available charging infrastructure, recharging the car can take anywhere between two and a half to six hours. I can control charging either via the PCM in the car or from the comfort of my home by using the Porsche Connect app. We therefore refer to the four main modes as first the E mode for electric driving, H for driving in hybrid mode, as well as the sport position and the sport plus position. The car will always start out in the E mode, which means every time the ignition is reset you start out in electric mode. 
Once the driver goes beyond a predefined pressure point we fitted to the accelerator pedal, it would signal the driver's request to activate the combustion engine in addition, which in turn would provide extra power and torque. You would then automatically switch into the hybrid mode. As far as driving dynamics are concerned, the Turbo SE Hybrid really has all the technical goodies onboard engineering can offer today. We have the ceramic brake. We have the adaptive three-chamber air suspension. The electrical roll stabilization PDDC, in connection with Porsche torque vectoring PTV Plus, as well as Power Steering Plus, which offers its own very special dynamic. As an option, we offer the rear axle steering, which gives the car even more agility and nimble maneuverability. As far as driving dynamics are concerned, nothing stands between the Sport Saloon and the Sport Turismo. Both cars are on the same top level. The Sport Turismo is a little heavier than the Saloon, given its five-seat capacity, but you won't notice this from the driving dynamics. The car obviously drives and handles itself very dynamically. On the one hand, the car benefits from its top performance powertrain, while on the other hand it also excels with its attractive design. Just like the Panamera Saloon, the Sport Turismo is characterized by its sporty and dynamic proportions. The major difference between the cars starts from the B-post. Here we have the roof line stretching all the way to the rear, where it runs into the equally distinct D-post. The cutout shapes of the greenhouse follow that line, while here above the wheels we find the muscular shoulders. The roof spoiler changes its position depending on the car's speed. In its various positions, it will generate additional downforce of up to 50 kilograms that noticeably benefits driving stability. Given that the roof line runs relatively high, we have the advantage of giving the rear seats substantially more headroom compared with the saloon, and also provide much more loading capacity for the trunk. The luggage compartment's capacity gains 20 litres, thanks to the bigger tailgate that opens very wide, and thanks to the lower loading edge, access to the trunk is significantly easier. What's more, in combination with the 2 plus 1 rear seating system, we can unlock the rear seats from here in the back. So when I carry something bulky, I can comfortably load it into the car. As the top model, the Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo takes up a very special position in the Panamera family. It comes with the Sport Saloon's well-known spread between efficiency and the significant electric range, as well as the sports car typical performance. In its segment, it is the absolute leader in performance, which it combines with the third dimension of everyday usability. To this end, it offers substantially more use value, a lowered loading edge, more trunk volume, a 4 plus 1 seating capacity, all of which give it an absolute one-of-a-kind position in the luxury segment. It can drive purely electric through the city or race at over 300 km per hour over the racetrack. Our Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo can handle both and convinces moreover with its high degree of everyday usability. Well then, let our new top model from the Sport Turismo lineup electrify and enjoy the ride. <laughs>